Hi gang, just out doing, uh, I'm going to top a tree here for some uh, maple syrup, maple syrup. Um, I'm not, it's nice because I got these uh, sugar maples right in my backyard. I'm doing a, a VR for um, um, Maple House uh, Knives and Outdoors. Hang on a second here, it's going to drill this hole. That's deep enough. There. So uh, he's giving away uh, this beautiful knife. You, you, you should see it. You've got to go over and check out his site. Um, this thing is, is the most beautiful knife I've ever seen in my life. It, uh, people talk about knife porn, and I didn't know really what they're talking about until I saw this thing. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Um, so uh, it's a custom-made knife. I'd never be able to afford anything like that. Um, the file, the, just the filing work on it is, is just unbelievable. Um, so you got to be a subscriber to his to his channel. So if you're not a subscriber, give him a sub. That hole's quite not big enough yet. So uh, go on over there and give him a sub. And uh, if you're not already, um, he just asked that you. Um, make a comment after you subscribe if you're not already subscribed and uh, also share the video I shared it on my Facebook page my personal one and also on my um, fishing uh, Facebook group page as well I run a little local fishing group page on Facebook so I shared it there as well and uh, If you do a VR, he'll give you an extra two entries, I believe it is, for VR. Um, yeah, you, you've, you've got to go check out this knife. It's, it's gorgeous. So, in case you guys don't know anybody, you guys don't know anything about tapping trees for maple syrup. Um, you just got to put a spline in. You drill a small hole, put a spline in like I'm doing now. And you just hang a bucket from it, and the uh, sap will start running. Now, the sap has started to run here because the days are starting to get above zero, above freezing. Uh, so when your nights are cold and go below zero, and the days warm up, that's when the sap starts to run. It comes from the bottom and runs up to the to the uh, branches up top, and uh, to uh, give nutrients to the new buds. So, by tomorrow morning, I should have quite a bit of sap in here, hopefully. I don't tap many trees, I only tap a couple. Um, so, hopefully I'll have, when the sap's running really good, overnight, I'll probably get about that much sap in here. And you can keep it for a couple days up to a week um, before you have to boil it off. So what I'll do is I'll collect every day and I'll dump this, put it in a food safe jar container and uh, keep it going until I get, you know, a gallon or so. It takes, I believe it's 44 gallons of sap to make one gallon of um, maple syrup. So it's, it's quite labor intensive. Anyway, so that's my VR. Hope that's good enough for you. And uh, hopefully sometime soon we'll be making another video when I start boiling the stuff down to make some maple syrup. I'll see you guys later.